Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I have the brand new Cruella doll that will be exclusive to Mattel Creations. She is in the Darkness Descend series and is second um, to the Maleficent doll that came out last year. I wanna say a huge thank you to Mattel for giving me this doll for free to share with you all. And I can't wait to get into her and see all of those stunning details. On the box, we have all of the little paw prints, obviously from all of the Dalmatians. And then there's the iconic Cruella art. And then when we open it up, we have this newsprint, which is obviously reminiscent to the film. They have like the interludes, you know, with all of the news stories as they're happening to kind of tell time. And I also love it because it's very reminiscent to me of the live action with Emma Stone. So it's cool to see that kind of vibe being carried over to the animated Cruella as well. Here's the little um, note card that it comes with. She will be exclusively released on Mattel Creations on May 6th. So yeah, that is a Monday. And let's continue opening her up. As always, the famous Mattel Easter grass, we love it. On the box, this is like the outer sleeve. You have the Cruella logo from that other box and like a mirrored foil. So it looks super luxurious. Also, obviously the raised, um, Dalmatian spots throughout the whole thing. There we see Cruella de Vil Darkness Descends series. And then on the back, pretty simple as well, Mattel Creations. And then you just lift this up to reveal the doll. Here she is with the slip cover removed just for the glare, but as you can see, it says Disney Collector right here. And then that same Cruella de Vil Darkness Descend series. And here's the doll. Um, as you can see, she has that new face sculpt from the, they released like that line of like, kind of like three classic villain dolls. So it was like Cruella, Yzma, and the Evil Queen. So I guess that was kind of a teaser for this new designer essentially, well, collector Cruella, not designer, <laughs> but collector Cruella that we would get eventually. I think she has a fully brand new sculpted body and all of that good stuff. So I'm so excited to take her out of the box. The design is really, really cool. It's like, again, like a mix with like a taste of the live action, but then obviously like you have these this line work on this pleather material to really reference um, the iconic like animation style, how you had like the kind of outlined animation, you know? But yes, absolutely stunning. And of course the Balenciaga vibe, Kim Kardashian <laughs> red shoes. This is that doll I was talking about. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's the same face sculpt, but like just super, super plussed as far as like the paint goes the new one is absolutely stunning there's even like a sheen on her eyelids and stuff and yeah i think the improvement in that paint with the rooted lashes gorgeous cruella so similar to maleficent it's like capturing like the moment of transformation so it's talking about how she goes from miserable to maniacal in a crazed car crash to catch the puppies. And this is accented with blood red gloves and thigh high boots. Cruella doll embodies her signature colors of black and white. Super, super cool. I love a concept. As I'm getting her out of the box, just wanted to show you her stand really quick. Kind of a cool Disney villain take. This might be the same one that Maleficent. No, Maleficent had like a custom flamey one. But yeah, very pretty. And then here's the certificate. And then it also, the package also came with this sketch, which is absolutely stunning. 2024 Mattel. 
And yeah, I love how like close to the animation it is in terms of like proportions and pose. Absolutely gorgeous. She was kind of packaged with the coat behind a plastic piece. So since it's already off, I thought I would just show you. It's fully lined, which is insane. And it's more like a, kind of like a vest type of coat. But yeah, the fur feels really great. I love the classic Cruella, like the ends of it. I think that really makes the entire design just even better. And yeah, it feels really luxurious. And then here's Cruella outside of her fur coat while it's already off. And yeah, this material is just so cool. It has like a pleather feel, but hopefully it doesn't like peel over time. But again, the full skirt is lined with this stunning red color, very vibrant. And on this side, you have that same pattern, but when like a black on black sheen. Her earrings have the little covers to protect from staining. She also was wearing like a whole um, plastic dress underneath this dress. So I like that they're taking care of like any potential staining. You're not gonna get that with this doll. Um, so that's nice out of the box. And yeah, and then here is the jewelry. It's not like metal, but it is like plated in the metallic. So it has a really nice touch to it. And then the gloves, full fabric gloves, very Disney store quality. And then she is on um, that like Disney body, but not on the Disney body, but like these are the same hands that like the princess dolls get, but she is on that same body, very, very like reminiscent of Cruella's actual proportions that that other doll has that I just showed a little bit ago. No leg articulation. And then here are the shoes. They don't go all the way up as like tights essentially, but I think knee high is just fine, especially given that you can't see the rest and the skirt is incredibly tight. So I think it would have just caused a lot of like problems as far as like making them go all the way up as tights. But yeah, this is the like Disney store feet as well. Those like larger ones. So it's really cool to have a boot specifically tailored to those as we like continue to get more and more of these Mattel Disney dolls. Now let's get her back in her full coat and we can see how she originally comes. Here is a quick um, body comparison then. As you can see, they reused this um, bodice and leg neck combo, which was like sculpted specifically for the Cruella character and I absolutely love it. It's so good to the animation and it's unlike anything we've ever seen with a Cruella doll before Mattel like went ahead and did that. And then she has the, obviously the collector one has the articulated arms, which is super interesting. But yeah, I love like a molded glove recently um, just because the fingers and stuff. And I love on this one how you get the ring, um, but the cloth gloves obviously do scream more collector quality and they always will. <laughs> so I don't think there's much debating that aspect, but yeah, super cool to see them go all out with making Cruella actually look like Cruella. And then here she is like just in the classic Cruella get up. Absolutely amazing. It's such a cool doll, especially now that we have the fabric gloves and arm articulation. So wicked. Okay, and finally here she is in all of her unboxed glory. There are so many like pieces on this doll, like getting out of the box and everything is so like not a struggle, but like there's so many things that you need to like make sure are like perfect, you know? Like the boots need to be up, the gloves need to be up, that needs to be this, that needs to be that. But yeah, we finally did it. All the plastic is removed. She is in her full glory, snatched waist, peplum, absolutely stunning. I really love this doll. And especially if you love Cruella, you're gonna love this new interpretation of her. Um, the quality does not disappoint. I'm not sure what the price is gonna be, um, but yeah, I can't imagine her being the 150 like uh, Maleficent was. Um, just because Maleficent had those like giant wings and stuff. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see that. I think the only thing holding 
these newer like Disney collector dolls back is that price point. I think on a lot of them, um, it's just hard to swallow those prices. Um, especially when you're used to like the Disney store dolls and all of that good stuff. Um, Cause I think all of the Mattel dolls so far have been absolutely stunning. It's literally just the price point that I think is turning people away, which is unfortunate because these do give that like 90s feel of just like fun versions of these characters. And I absolutely want to see more of that because I love all of these dolls so far, especially the sculpting, like just on her alone, the body and everything. It's new, it's unique, it's something we've never seen before for these characters, even though they've been around for like 50 years, 60 years. So yeah, I think that aspect is just amazing. And similar to the Disney Princess um, collector dolls, the three, um, Belle, Aurora, Jasmine, that just came out, I wish they had the knee articulation. Um, I think that goes a long way in terms of just like bringing the doll to life. So yeah, I wish that aspect was there. But other than that, I really love her. I think she's a really cool doll and definitely captures the character um, perfectly, I would say, better than the Disney store I've ever has. So yeah, like I said before, she will be available on May 6th on Mattel Creations, which is a Monday. So if you love her, if you love the character, you won't be disappointed. And I hope to see this line continue and continue. I love the Disney villains and I love these sculpts and takes on their iconic outfits and these like moments that they're able to capture. I really, really hope that we get a Vanessa because I would buy 17 alone because <laughs> that is my favorite character of all time and just imagine like a Mattel Vanessa sculpt I would drop so yeah if you like this video and the channel please comment share subscribe and I can't wait to see what we get next with these collector dolls and thank you again to Mattel for giving me this product for free for review and Bye-bye.